in this video I want to give you a puzzle from an actual game that was played in 1905 between Arturo Reggio uh, with the white pieces against Hans Farney um, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce his name um, and well the opening was uh, Ponziani And we have the counter gambit with f5. Now I played this opening with the white pieces, so it was a pretty interesting game for me to look at. Now, I'm not gonna analyze the game, but it's pretty interesting. White gets a pretty big advantage towards the end, and Well, you see here the bishop f5, and then you see the black king is stuck in the center of the board, so the position is kind of opening up, and you can see that white has this huge, huge advantage. And well, here. The evaluation is still um, pretty good for white. I mean, it's pretty much plus five. So in this position, uh, there were many moves that went for white. And uh, white played this move, knight f3. So it's black to move. And there's pretty much only one good move. So you can pause the video and try to figure out what the best move is because it's a lot to calculate. Your knight is, I mean, your queen is being attacked by the knight. Uh, there's also uh, two pieces attacking the bishop. So if you move the queen, well, that um, you have to be careful where you put the queen and uh, yeah okay well I'm assuming that you pause the video and well let me show you what happened in the actual game in the game this position this was the move that was played and now the evaluation went from, uh, well, now it's made in seven for white. Uh, I believe the correct move here is uh, bishop c5 and black resigned. But instead black had this amazing queen sacrifice. And it's not a mate. Um, I spent a lot of time looking at this uh, puzzle and I was trying to make it work um, but it there's only a perpetual check there is no checkmate so takes bishop check um, doesn't matter if you go uh, you can go king c2 or king d2 it doesn't really make much of a difference Rook b2 check, king has to go back, so you pretty much get this position regardless. And here you just drop back, I mean you can just drop back to uh, b8 and repeat. Again the king goes here or here and that's pretty much all you have. There's like nothing else, you don't have any like rook checks here. And, you can just block it mid and white is not just winning. If instead you check here, king b1, only move. Uh, taking the knight with check doesn't work. There's uh, several ways to defend. Uh, bishop d3, 
uh, maybe the most uh, human-like move, I think. I mean, it's what I would play. It's what I calculated. Uh, but there's other moves as well. You can throw in this check, but it doesn't really matter. King a1, you can check. And well, once the king goes to a2, you have like no really good checks because, well, you just lose the work. And there's many other sub variations, but that's kind of the idea of it. Uh, so yeah, sometimes uh, there is no checkmate, but at least the draw is better than uh, losing the game. And uh, well, I, I think it's a nice way to draw the game. I mean, considering that the evaluation after uh, king e7 is uh, plus 5. Uh, it's a it's a nice uh, way to draw the game just with a queen sacrifice and a uh, forced perpetual, so it almost feels like a like a win in a sense. Um, anyway, if you like the puzzle and you solved it, give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to share and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I will see you in the next video.